Hello everybody, I hope you all have had a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. We are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be doing the first episode of a brand new series, Killing a Diamond with Every Single Weapon in the Game. You guys have been requesting this. I put up a poll with four different options of potential video ideas, and this one was easily the most voted for, so... We're going to be starting that off today. I've been looking for diamonds for this video for the past few days and we finally got four of them for a video. So that's what we got for you guys today. I really hope you all enjoy. We're going to be doing four diamonds per video with this series and we'll probably only post one to two videos on this series per week just because it does take a little bit longer to actually find the diamonds as you guys could imagine. So this series won't be posted every day. It's probably going to be one that will go on for quite some time but Basically, the way I'm going to do it is we'll get to four diamonds, and then I'll make a video out of it. So, without further ado, if you guys enjoy the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. It is a massive help with YouTube's algorithms, and it really ensures that I can continue doing what I enjoy doing, which is streaming and making videos for you guys. But with that being said, I hope you all enjoy, and let's get straight into it. You know, even though this goat right here is a level 4, this actually does look like it could be a possible diamond. I don't typically see them this V-shaped and having that long of horns, so I actually have pretty high hopes for this one. And if so, this will be a great one to get for the 223. I think this will actually be perfect if we can just get him to stop moving around so much. And that level 4 actually looks very similar. That kind of makes my hopes go down a little bit, but we will see. Definitely has potential. Oh, yeah, it looks way bigger than this guy actually We definitely got lung because he is losing HP now, so shouldn't be too many issues there. Thankfully Let's go ahead and fast travel over and hopefully this guy will end up being a diamond Well, there he is and he does look just as big up close I think this is gonna be our first level 4 diamond that does not look like the troll horns at all That seems to have a lot more curl to it and a lot more length I've got really good hopes about this one. I think this is going to be a diamond. So let's go ahead and claim this guy and see if we have completed the 223. It is just a gold, but that was oh so close. Oh my gosh. 207. And I think there is a chance that this might actually be two different horns. And that might be why it didn't quite make it. Well, that is quite unfortunate, but it got very close. But we still have to continue looking for a diamond for the 223. Well, here we are for our second opportunity at getting a diamond with the 223. This guy I did end up spooking when I ran up here, so he is nervously drinking, but I think it's about time to try and move into a perfect angle to take this guy out. He's got a pretty good estimate, 97 to 112. I think there's a pretty decent chance that he could make diamond. The closer I get to him, the more I'm starting to think that this might actually be the smaller horns that just barely make diamond and can also sometimes troll, so I'm a little bit worried that this guy won't make it. However, we can always hope. We got trolled on the goat, hopefully we won't get trolled on the speed goat. Once he turns and goes broadside, we'll try to take the shot. We are using the 223, so this is going to be a bit difficult, and I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be pretty easy to screw this thing up. If he can just turn broadside, we will take the shot. Although I kind of want to put the Argus on for this, since we are using the 223. I want to give us every little bit of zoom that we can possibly get. Normally I don't like using the Argus for diamonds, but in this case I think it's going to work out better than the Hyperion would. Oh, he's actually coming right towards us. If we can just hide under one of these trees so we can get fully hidden, this might actually work out perfectly. This little bush right here actually hides us completely, so this is going to be where we'll wait for him. And he's coming in hot. He's going really fast. Hopefully he doesn't spook before we get a shot. That actually might be pretty good. If he goes a little bit more broadside, we'll take the shot. I don't really want to risk anything, so we're going to take all the time that we need. And that is a much better angle right there. He could just stay there, that would be great, but it looks like he is going to move some more. That is so cool to see though. We got this guy really, really close to us. And... This should be perfect. 
should do the trick. I honestly didn't expect him to get that close, but that worked out perfectly. We got ourselves some vital blood right there. This guy ran a ridiculous distance before he dropped. That just shows kind of the weakness of the 223, but we did get him down and we did get a vital hit. However, I'm not sure if this guy's gonna be a diamond. There's a good chance he could be a troll, but I guess we'll see very shortly. 101, it is a diamond. I guess this is the bigger variation of these horns right here, so that's really nice. 101 scoring pronghorn. Not bad at all. That is awesome. We got single lung, just a left lung hit, but 561 meter tracking distance. That's crazy. It's crazy that it ran that far. But now with the 223 checked off the list, we can actually go to some more powerful weapons. And the next one that we got in line, I believe, is the 270. So let's go see if we can get a 270 diamond. Well, as always, you can always count on the mountain lions to produce a max level animal. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this guy down with the 270 because that is the next weapon on the list. I'm going to jump in this tower just so we don't add too much hunting pressure and hopefully we can get a good shot into this guy. There's actually a pretty big mythical over here too, so I would like to take him out also if I can. But it's just going to be a matter of can we transition over there quickly enough. Unfortunately, this guy has turned in a direction where it's going to be pretty hard to actually make a shot on him. If I had the 22 with me, I'd do the 22 trick, but since I'm going in order from whatever's on the top of the list of weapons clear to the bottom, I don't have the 22 with me at the moment. We have the 223, the 270, the 300, and then I believe the 7mm. So I guess we're just going to have to wait for this guy to turn and then try to get a shot on him. We actually have two more mountain lions over here, so there's actually a lot more for us to take out than I initially thought. I'm trying to get this guy to go alert, and oh, there he goes. He actually is alert now. This might be our opportunity to get a good shot on him. And I'm not actually sure what just happened there. However, the second shot took him out, so... Not too bad. The fact that mountain lions are a little bit buggy and tend to stay in one place definitely helps with stuff like that. We completely missed that first shot and we still managed to get a second shot into him because of that. Alright, well here he is. It does look like it is vital blood so it wasn't anything weird like a brain or spine shot thankfully. He definitely got hard on this guy. I kind of figured we did just based off of how quickly he dropped but you never know when we could have had something weird happen and get a spine shot. Well, let's go ahead and claim this guy and hope that he will be a diamond. And he is. 3940 on that guy. Not bad at all. That's actually a pretty good scoring diamond too. About halfway between minimum and max score for diamond. Not bad. That checks the 270 off the list. Well, that right there is a pretty pleasant surprise. I came out here to hunt some Cape Buffalo and we got ourselves a level 5 blue wildebeest just walking past them. I am going to probably have to use the 7mm on this guy because the 300 unfortunately is too big for them so we are going to have to skip one gun in the order and try to take this guy out with the 7mm and then we'll try to get our kill with the 300 but that is really cool it's been a long time since we actually got ourselves a max level wildebeest now if we can just find him again and there he is once he turns broadside we'll take the shot on him and hopefully we don't screw this up I actually would love to add this to the lodge. This is something that we don't see too often. It would definitely be great if we could get a good shot on him. Also, that wind is not in our favor, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Hopefully we can get his attention real quickly and make him turn. Almost every time he turns just a little bit too much. I'm wondering if we're actually going to have to take a front-on shot, which is definitely nowhere near being ideal. But it's kind of looking like he's going to be stubborn. So we might have to take that shot if he gives it to us again. That appeared to be a decent hit, I think at least. That actually might have been a bit left. I'm a little bit worried now. Hopefully we can catch up to him. It is a wildebeest, so I don't think he'll die super fast. But that does get me a little bit worried that we could have just screwed up our chances at a diamond wildebeest. Although he did just stop. 
This might actually be our chance right here. He's just limping off. We're gonna have to be really quick in order to get this kill. I really hope that he doesn't die. Although, with the way it's looking, I think he's going to before we actually get to a spot where we can take him. But fingers crossed that he doesn't die too fast. There he is. He's almost dead, unfortunately. We're gonna have to take the next shot we get. If he can just stop right there, then I think we'll be able to take the shot. Did that miss? Oh no. I think that missed. Either that or we dropped him. There's hunting pressure. So there is a chance that we just dropped him. Either we dropped him or he died the second I took the shot. I really hope we got that second shot into him. I guess we'll know if we see vital blood. Honestly, I think from now on, even if it's not time to use the 22 for a diamond, I am going to be bringing it along just so we can do the 22 trick. Because that was quite unfortunate, the fact that he wouldn't cooperate and give us a broadside shot. Because I feel like that's what made us mess that up. If we had actually been able to get him broadside, we probably would have got a good shot into him. But because he was being stubborn, I took that shot that I probably shouldn't have, and I think that might have cost us our diamond. Well, there he is, and that is actually Vital Blood. We got extremely lucky. Oh my gosh. I am very surprised that that actually worked out. I thought we hit a bush or something, but we actually got him. As long as we didn't hit the skull or anything weird like that, this should be a diamond if it's got a high enough score. It's a diamond, 3830. We managed to get that, and it was almost a skull shot. I see what happened here. He turned his head a little bit right as we shot, and that caused us to almost screw that up. But that's insane. I can't believe we finally got a blue wildebeest diamond and it just happened to be when we're doing some sort of challenge like this. That is super cool. I just spotted a level 9 bear, and that right there is him. This is something that I've never been able to add to my lodge. I've killed two of these guys in the past and they both ended up trolling. Could we finally get ourselves a diamond brown bear? If so, this could be probably one of the coolest things that we've found since I started this challenge. I'm really interested to see what else we're going to be able to find. This has honestly yielded some pretty sweet trophies and made me look in places I typically wouldn't. I tried looking for Cape Buffalo and then I tried Water Buffalo and Moose and unfortunately I could not find any max level animals of any of those or anything even remotely close to diamonds so I moved over here to Medved since I haven't been here in quite a while and we got ourselves a level 9 brown bear right there. Now I'm not sure what fur type this guy is so I'm very interested to see once we get him down. We've got the 300 right here, let's go ahead and zero for 150. And we should be able to take the shot next time he brings his head up. And that should be good there. That is a level 9 brown bear down. I can't believe we might finally be able to get our diamond brown bear. And he's down. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. I'm pretty excited to get this guy claimed. Unfortunately, he died in a pretty terrible spot. I do believe this is the blonde fur variation, I think, so that's actually really cool. This might be exactly what I've been wanting to find fur type wise. But let's go ahead and take a look at him. It is a diamond. We finally got ourselves a diamond brown bear, and I believe blonde is an uncommon fur variation too. I could be wrong, but I think this is an uncommon fur type. That is super, super cool. I honestly could not be more happy. That is. This might be the coolest thing that we've killed ever since we started this challenge of getting a diamond with every gun. And yeah, that is amazing. I can't wait to get a look at this guy in the lodge. He just barely made diamond, but he still made it and that's all that counts. So I decided on removing one of these water buffalo that was up here since they were from the old uh, score requirement for diamond and I replaced it with the blonde brown bear right here. I'm still really excited that we actually managed to get a diamond brown bear. I've been wanting one of these for quite a long time and just rarely go to Medved so we never end up finding any and the couple times that we did they were always trolls but we finally managed to seal the deal on a diamond and we did it in a series that 
I was pretty excited to do, as you guys probably have figured out by now. But he's not the only new addition to the lodge. We also added this wildebeest right here. I decided to remove one of the Bathidi Ibex that we had placed up in this room just because we have quite a few of them. I think eventually we're going to start removing some of these Diamond Blacktail also just because we have so many of them from the old system back when I used to hunt Blacktail quite a bit. Unfortunately, it was before YouTube, but I have quite a few of them and I would like to replace some of the lower scoring ones with some actual more unique trophies. Unfortunately, both the pronghorn and the mountain lion weren't nearly big enough to be put into this lodge, so they're going to get tossed into a secondary lodge along with the two trophies that we replaced with the brown bear and the uh, wildebeest. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video. We're going to go ahead and end it there. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment for YouTube's algorithms because it is a massive help. But with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.